Hey y'all, so I just wanted to uh, quickly give a teaser video for uh, my latest project. This is a project I started about a year ago. Hopefully this weekend I will have this prototype slash whatever finished and I'll give a more in-depth video including running it. But I just want to, I'm just so excited I finally got the whole assembly up here finished. Um, so this is the first time I actually get to see what it's really going to look like in scale. And as you can see, it's large. It is obviously some sort of a track system that I've built. This is about its ride height, right about there. So this is about, this is the back end of it, that's the drive gear. Um, i still got more stuff to print. I'm working on the next uh, uh, suspension system, which will go on onto the front here. Um, this is a, it's white because it's just a, a temp prototype. I went through the uh, the tracks or the shoes, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty uh, pretty gnarly right there. That's about it. Um, there will be three suspension sets, but like I said, we'll go into more detail when I do the uh, big test. This hope maybe this weekend, uh, probably a week, maybe hopefully Saturday or Sunday, Sunday evening. I should have this finished. This isn't really centered. This should be centered in here. Uh, none of this is on there solid, but the whole gearbox is finished, and I've got the track sorted, so that's what it's going to look like. That thing is just gnarly. So that's my hand. <laughs> so let's just take that off real quick, and you can see the gearbox. That's a uh, Traxxas Monster Titan 550 motor. Uh, the gears are perfect. They mesh absolutely perfectly, exactly like they're supposed to. Just a uh, paper's width. Of play in there. I don't know if you can actually see. I might be uh, um, too much shadow there, not enough light. Let's do that. Maybe you can see what's going on there. All right. Yeah. So the gears are purple because um, I built a prototype gearbox and I wasn't sure about anything, so I built the purple gears. Uh, everything worked perfectly, so I'm just going to plow ahead with them. They should be silver. Uh, these holes here that you see on the outside are for the cover plates that will go on. Don't mind uh, the slight mishap here. I'll be reprinting this piece to uh, make it perfect. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, Ninja Flex tires. Uh, Ninja Flex tire on the gear. Those are all just to make everything nice and quiet. It's twisted a bit, so there we go. Yeah, that looks awesome. So this is the rollers up on top. There's a, a different one of these brackets that goes here. It's still got the rollers, but there's another uh, um, bigger block here for another spar uh, extra support. Wow, that thing is really going to be big. This is uh, only a third of the track, well, a third of the uh, of the frame. I got lots to make yet, lots to print. I just printed two more nuts. I gotta replace this nut because I didn't tap it at all straight. Pissed me off. So I've got two more nuts that just came off the printer. I think you can see them over there. Um, this is my total mess of a hobby room. Because I'm in full build mode, so. I tend to be rather messy when I'm in build mode. <laughs> Things just going everywhere. So that's it. That's my gnarly track system. Um, it's going to be awesome. It is really going to be awesome. Uh, everything is on bearings. The gears are on bearings. These wheels are on bearings. The drive shaft is on big, big bearings. Those are the beasts. The uh, front idlers will be on big ass bearings. This is, like I said, about the ride height. Oh, wow. Just wow. I am really happy with the way it's coming out. That's <laughs> just awesome. Uh, quick look at the bottom here. Um, so there's holes, so I've been working on getting the printing uh, better for the uh, overhangs. I don't know if you can see that there. So there's shoes, uh, Ninja Flex soles will be glued into all the shoes. Don't worry about these, these are ugly. 
Um, this was an earlier sole. I don't like it because it left too much on the outsides, and when the roll, uh, the wheels rolled over, it would sort of. Uh, can you see that? Uh, when the wheel rolled over, it, it would rock. So I changed that um, to those, and now they're perfect. I don't know. Can you see that? So nice and quiet, shock absorption, plus friction. Lots of friction there. Um, yeah. So that's the track system. Three millimeter by thirty millimeter bolts, lock nuts. These are recessed in there. Everything's recessed in there. These are on lock nuts, so nothing's coming loose. Uh, I don't have to use any Loctite, and yet it's all flexible. Lock nuts are inside there. It's beautifully flexible. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So, um, hopefully next week I will be posting the uh, video of the prototype running. Uh, the first prototype is only going to have two uh, suspension sets on it. I'm not going to go to full size until I, um, I've done that test. Uh, there will be an automated, uh, an automatic tensioning system. I don't know if you can see the gold springs right there. Those will be used on the automatic tension system. Although I suspect that those might be too strong, which is fine. Um, I can get slightly softer ones or much softer ones or incredibly softer ones, whatever I need. Um, I can even replace these. Uh, these are might not be firm enough, but then again, they might be. Uh, the rest of it is not going to be a lot heavier, so this is supporting it nicely at a nice ride height. That's just awesome. <laughs> Uh, all right, bye now.